girl Brinks. Um, this video is going to try to be a little bit short. I am trying a new recipe today. We are doing some tacos, um, some steak and some chicken. I'm trying this recipe called Al Pastor, y'all. I didn't know that it needed to be marinated though for like eight hours. So I am attempting like a quick vi a version. Hey y'all. So I'm attempting a quick version. <laughs> I just wanted y'all to see my face for a bit. I'm attempting a quick version. Um, but for the most part, y'all are going to be seeing me just mixing and pretty much doing stuff via bowls and cooking like i want to try to get it to the point of where you guys are seeing like more of like the food and the mixing rather than just looking at me like the whole video <laughs> like you're seeing like the whole process because just editing in my videos like i realize y'all y'all are seeing a lot of me and not so much of what i'm doing and that's a result of me not being able to fix my freaking stand and then also my other one is kind of in my car because I usually take it when I go work out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Bruh. I take it when I go work out, y'all. So it kind of stays in the car. It is so hot in here, y'all. I have TK some drumsticks on and the oven is on. And it is like a nice hot day, like high 70s here, y'all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's blazing in here. Like, But anyways, y'all, I have all the recipes I mean, everything out for the recipe. Um, I did forget to get some freaking loose corn and some guacamole and lettuce, which I could have put in my tacos, y'all, which sucks, but I'm not going back out. So <laughs> we're going to have to kind of just use what we got. So tacos are going to be like really, really basic, but I do have like some cheese crumbles. We have salsa. We Bruh. We have salsa, um, we have some chipotle sauce. We just gonna make it work y'all, so. It is what it is, like if I do need to run out to go get some stuff, like I will, but I'm really not planning on doing it. So like the tacos are just gonna have to be flavored on like kind of what I got. Hot sauce, if I need to use like condiments, like it just gotta, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so let's just get started on this. So I have two bowls right here. I don't even know if you guys should see the red bowl, but this is the red bowl. I'm going to be using this one for the skirt steak that I have. Basically, um, both meat um, is here. I have all of my ingredients ready to go. Um, Papi wants some. Yes, baby. Can I please play with my daddy? Go ahead. Oh. Um, so they require um, specific ingredients, but I'm adding extra seasoning, guys. Do you mind? Because I want very seasoned stuff, so I am going to be adding slap your mama to both both recipes. Not much, just enough for tasting. Um, both require black pepper. Both require some minced garlic, uh, chipotle pepper chili, and it's a bowl. Some ground cloves, and this is taking place of like one of the recipes or something. I forgot what it was taking place of, y'all. Ground cumin, and some brown sugar. Alright guys, so this is all of my chicken. 
that I cooked up. And one thing that I want to say is that I'm actually glad that I left it cooking for a little bit longer. You guys see the chart pieces because it gives it that extra kind of like, um, like kind of grill type flavor, so to say. And Seriously, mommy. like you guys can really taste the pineapple in there. Like I bought canned pineapple, but I'm actually going to, um, and I only want to use it for the juice. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wind up cutting up the actual pineapple that's in there and use it as one of the toppings to put on the tacos. Like this is really flavorful, you guys. And you can literally taste the oranges in it, the oranges in it, the pineapple in it, the chilies in it like it has that extra kick like it is really flavorful i didn't even expect it to be that flavorful like it makes me wonder like how much flavorful it would be if it actually had the full eight hours to actually marinate in the seasoning because i wasn't expecting it to even have like like hardly any flavor at all like i knew it was going to have like a little bit but it turned out to be like really flavorful you guys and then i kind of like pulled the chicken kind of once it got close to being done but yeah you guys this is how it turned out and as you guys can see it is still it still has a lot of it's not dried out or anything it looks so good i can't wait to put this on some tacos a nice looking flavor nice looking season like y'all this looks so good i cannot wait to make tacos with this and then i just put my um steak on so it is cooking that should not take long to cook at all i uh, will be watching that and then um, once everything is done you guys i will be back like i told y'all it will be a short video i do not have a lot of ingredients to even put into it um for the most part y'all the only thing that i really got to really add to it so to say is i don't even know if i'm gonna add this but i do have some avocado ranch which i don't even know if i'm gonna add that to it at all to be honest but i have that um, i have what else do i have <laughs> I have some pico de gallo salsa. I have like some regular shit shredded cheese and then I have espresso. <laughs> and then I have some fresco um, cheese. Um, I forgot to get some corn, um, the corn salsa you guys. That's one of the things I was missing. I don't have any sour cream. I don't have any guacamole. Um, Seriously, mommy. And then I don't have any jalapenos. I don't have any chipotle sauce. Like literally, Bruh. this. That's pretty much all I have. I think I may have some jalapenos. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't even think I have those for real. <laughs> like I really don't have much, y'all. But we probably we just gonna make it do what it do, y'all. We just gonna work with what we what we got, cause like the day is pretty much done with time to start the work week um i do have like this mix of jalapenos with um the corn and not the, corn, but the um, carrots and stuff in it i don't really like it too much but i mean it may be an option to add with it i don't even know is this still good it's still good but it's like pickled jalapenos and then it has corn in it Seriously, mommy. It has freaking um, carrots in it. Ah! Carrots and onions. But. I tell daddy that how the heck did he get up here? Really getting here. <laughs> that is funny. Mommy, you brought you done. I think so, baby. I'm about to fix your plate. But yeah, y'all, that is all that I have, y'all. So I will be back once the steak is ready to show you guys what the steak is looking like. And then I'll be back again to show you guys the finished product. Um, yeah, TK's chicken is done. So I'm going to make his plate up real, real quick, y'all. And I will be back. So see y'all soon. All right, guys. So I actually wound up just mixing the pineapple right in with my chicken. I know you guys can see like a couple pieces right there, a couple pieces right there. And then I actually cooked in the pineapple with the steak. 
so you guys can see like the pieces of pineapple like all scattered through there um and then i found some of my taco bell chipotle sauce y'all so we do get some sauce we got some sauce um and then we have our pico de gallo we have our um crumbling cheese or whatever it's called um and that's literally <laughs> that's literally our toppings y'all like so we're just gonna go ahead and put these tacos together they're gonna be like super simple that's it super simple, um so one of these tacos is going to be <clears throat> chicken the other taco is going to be um steak i don't know if i'm going to put like some more pineapple on it or not i'm debating keeping it pretty light uh, but like one chicken, one steak. Then we're gonna take our pico. I should've got some guac though, y'all, for real. I'm not a real uh, guac person. That's probably why I didn't think to get guacamole, but like, yeah, no guac. But I mean, like, even though they're going to be, like, pretty pretty simple tacos, I feel like they'll still be freaking bomb. And then, um, they'll still be flavorful. And I feel like I can still use, like, the avocado sauce that I have in the refrigerator. So I'm going to actually only get that. It's like an avocado ranch. So, avocado ranch, y'all. And then we're gonna open up this crumbly cheese. Like, how the heck do you even do? You just put it on there because it's not like in a regular cheese packet. What the? Bruh. This is supposed to be crumbling cheese. This is actually some good cheese, though. That's a little annoying to me. <laughs> 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 Shake up my chapeau sauce. What the tacos are looking like? Because, because, um, because I got the point. These are my tacos, y'all. How did you get up here? All right, y'all. So I'm going to grow up on these tacos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.